are in my pocket. Are you ready, Jemima? Just got to find my shoes. Today, everyone was in a rush. I'm late, I'm late. Dad was late for work, and I was going to the town hall with Mum and Jemima because a very important person was visiting Sunny Sands. I really don't know what all the fuss is about. Here's what all the fuss was about. Her name was Princess Purpilovna. She was a very rich and a very famous film star who was known all over the world. Sunny Sands had never had such an important visitor. And everyone was so excited. I'm so excited. Apparently she's got a big idea for Sunny Sands. What kind of big idea? Some kind of plan to make Sunny Sands a better place. I wonder if she's got a plan for my bike shop. I could do with some help there. <laughs> yes, this was a day when we'd all find out about Princess Purpilovna's plan. Right, I'm ready then. Off we go. Oh, no, Grandpa. All that standing about outside the town hall, very tiring. You could watch it all on TV. Found my shoes, got to brush my hair. I need lipstick. If she's got some idea about making Sunny Sands a better place, I want to know what it is. I'm coming too. Not the shrieking cat, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. Grandpa! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. He can fly off in my plane. He can ride on Gordon, my toy seagull. Or he could just run for all he's worth. Hurry up, Jemima. Mum and Jemima are coming. Quick, get down! I'm the only one who knows about Grandpa's shrinking cap. Hide! And nobody else is allowed to see him. Grandpa jumps straight into Dad's backpack. Oh! Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? What a good idea. Right, I'm off to the bike shop. <gasps> this was a disaster. Grandpa wanted to go to the town hall with us. But now he was going to the bike shop with Dad. Dad, can I come to the bike shop with you? But don't you want to see Princess Purpilovna? Not much. I like bikes more than princesses. So off I went with Dad and Grandpa to the bike shop. What are we going to do today? I'm afraid you're going to be rather bored, Jason. Dad was right. And Grandpa was bored too. But... We weren't going to be bored for long. I am Igor. Hello, Igor. How can I help? My car. It is sick. Your car is sick? Yes. Very sick car. And Princess Purpilovna, she is in the sick car. Princess Purpilovna is in the car? Yes, yes. Please. I borrow spanner. Of course. Princess Purpilovna. She is very angry. And Igor was right. Princess Purpilovna was very angry. Oh, I am very angry. Oh. She was very angry and very purple. The car is sick and I am sick too from all these windy, windy roads. Dad helped her to her chair. And I ran to get her some water. The car, it is kaput, and the driver, he is useless too. I'll go and see if I can help him. It is a disgrace that I, the very rich, the very famous, the very beautiful Princess Perpolovna, should be stuck in this terrible bike shop in this terrible old town. I knew Grandpa wouldn't like Sunny Sands being called a terrible old town. Ah, but I am going to make this terrible old town much better. Oh, yes. Can you guess how? We were about to hear Princess Purpilovna's plan. I am going to buy the whole of Sunny Sands and paint it purple! <laughs> oh, but I'm feeling a little dizzy. I need a biscuit and a pickled cucumber. Um, I think I can do the biscuits. So now we knew the princess's plan. What plan would Grandpa have, I wondered? He wouldn't want Sunny Sands to change one bit. Our town is called Sunny Sands 
because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. We love spending time at our beach hut on the beach. And you can see the lighthouse from my bedroom window. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop. And here's Miss Smiley's Cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Then there's Mr Whoops' shop, where you can buy anything and everything. Everyone loves Sunny Sands, and nobody would want it to turn purple. <gasps> I saw a little man. A little man went beep, 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 beep. Of course, I knew just who the little man was. Just need a bigger spanner. We're getting there. Are you feeling better? A little man went beep, 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 beep. Look, you've had a long journey. You're tired. I'm sure if you eat that, you'll feel better. I am not hungry. Here, you eat it. Thanks. Fetch me more water. So off I went to fetch more water. I thought the princess would be looking for Grandpa while I was gone. Where are you? <gasps> the little bitty bitty man! Grandpa had gone too far. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. And just when I thought the princess was going to find him... Need bigger spanner. Igor, you must catch for me, little peepee -pee -pee man. He is so sweet. You sit down. You rest. I don't want to rest. Yes, please, princess. No, you find me, yes, little peepee man. No, I, I don't. had please. found Fine. Grandpa. No, but what was his plan? And how could I help? Psst! We've got to get her out of Sunny Sands. Yes, sir. You sit down! I meant cock. I don't think you really want to live in Sunny Sands, Princess. It isn't a fun place at all. Any place that has a little peepee peepee man is a fun place. No, really, it's awful. We'd all like to live somewhere else. Especially me. <gasps> Very well. Whatever was Grandpa thinking? Oh, you must come with me to my country, far, far away. Oh, yes, please. And I will build you a little purple house inside my big purple palace. And we will both live happily ever after in purpleness. Sounds wonderful. But we must go now. But I don't have a car to go now. We don't need a car. The shop is full of bikes. Jump! <gasps> Ready, Igor? Nearly ready. The good news was that Princess Purpilovna was leaving Sunny Sands. The bad news was that Grandpa was in her handbag with a jar of pickled cucumbers. That gave me an idea. Before you go, Princess, please can I have another cucumber? Of course you can. Help yourself. Tiggly, tiggly. Oh, <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> Please, please. <laughs> I had to give Grandpa time to escape. So I need you to make the most of the cucumber. Ah, oh, oh, smells delicious. Mm -hmm. You smell it. Mmm, <sighs> bite. Mmm. Delicious! Oh, I could live off these. Be careful you don't squish my little beepy beepy -pee -pee man. And at last they were off. Bye. 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 Yeah, bye. Yeah. bye. 
I brought Grandpa home safely in my pocket after his big adventure. I rushed into the house ahead of Dad. He took off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. We did it, Jason. She won't be visiting Sunny Sam's again with her purple plan. Teamwork. Teamwork. You were right to go and have a little lie down, Grandpa. She was bonkers. She thought there was a little man running around the bike shop. <laughs> <laughs> now that really is bonkers. <laughs> fantastic model of Sunny Sands on the sitting room floor. We were playing with our Sunny Sands train. Oh, Jason! What? Jemima wasn't keen on trains. And anyway, she had other plans for the day. Let me tell you a bit about my sister Jemima. Well, she has lots of friends who often come round to play. She loves animals and, as you can see, she's very keen on the colour pink. She likes all kinds of singing and dancing and really loves making up plays and dressing up. Most of the time she's good fun. But, like all big sisters, she can be quite annoying. And today she was being annoying because she was having a new friend round to play. So what's this new friend's name then, Jemima? Tiffany. Tiffany, eh? Yes, Tiffany Jane Gottington Pump. <laughs> It's not funny, Jason. She's very pretty and she has lovely hair and very cool clothes and she's my best friend, OK? Oh, yes. Apparently, Tiffany Jane Crottington Pump was Jemima's new best friend. And, and she lives in one of the big houses down in the bay overlooking the sailing boats. Very smart. Exactly, Grandpa. So I want our house to look really tidy and nice. So will you please, please, Clear all of this up. Oh, Mum! I think she's discovered Mum's new hobby. <laughs> Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, then salsa dancing, then relaxation exercises, and now this. Yes, Mum's latest hobby was hat making. Oh, Mum, it's such a mess! I know. Isn't it great? I'm halfway through this Sunny Sands hat. I'm making it all seasidey. Try this one on, Jemima. I don't want to try one on, and I don't want Tiffany to think we live in a in a hat factory. And that'll be her now. Tiffany Jane Crottington Pump was at the door. Hi. Oh, what a sweet little house. Oh, we've got one of those in our garage. Uh, this is my brother. Oh, hi, Damien. It's Jason, actually. Oh, and you've got a little ratty dog. And this is Grandpa. Hello, Tiffany. Gosh, I thought my Grandpa was old, but yours is ancient. Tiffany, how lovely to see you. Mum, you've got a crab on your head. Yes, I know. Isn't it wonderful? Come and see my bedroom. I've got lots more stuff up there. Oh, it's the tiniest bedroom in the universe. Oh, well, back to my felt and feathers. I think Tiffany Jane Grottington Pump is big trouble, and Jemima is going to need our help. Not our shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know what happens when Grandpa shrinks. He can get in my toy car and make it go. He can fly off in my plane. Grandpa! He can chef about in our Sony Sands train. Or he can run so fast that I can't catch him. Hi, Grandpa, they're coming! And Grandpa jumped off the shelf and onto the sofa, then onto the floor and into the train carriage. There's a bit more space there. Oh, I have quite a few dressing up clothes. To OK, choose. let's do a play. I love doing plays. <laughs> Me too. Now that Grandpa's gone for a little lie down, please clear all of this up. When Grandpa shrinks, everyone always thinks that he's gone for a little lie down. And this time, 
Jemima was sort of right. You haven't got very good dressing up clothes, have you? Look at this sad little fairy wand. Well, I guess I have Grandpa had popped his head out and beckoned to me. I can't turn into a rug. He told me what to say. That's not a sad wand. It's a brilliant wand. It's the loads of magic. Jason! Can I borrow you, Jason? Um. <gasps> it must be awful having your grandpa live with you all the time. I knew grandpa would have a plan, and I was right. I wasn't sure it was such a good plan. But just then... Jason, come and try this on, please. much easier to see where to pin things when someone's wearing it. Meanwhile, Tiffany had chosen a costume for Jemima, while Grandpa hid in the bottom of the box. Right, so I'm the fairy princess and you're my maid. Ah! Something moved! Something moved inside the box! Stand back! Stand well back! Tell us when it's all clear! Oops, bit of a mistake, but the dressing up box has given me an idea. And Grandpa jumped out of the box and ran into the kitchen. Nothing here, it's all fine. I think it was your imagination, Tiffany. You've obviously got an amazing imagination. Well, actually, yes, I have. Come in the garden, mate. Jason! Mum had to put some more flowers onto my hat. Suddenly, out of the corner of my eye, I saw Grandpa. He was gathering bits of material. I think Jemima might be getting a bit fed up with Tiffany Jane Grottington Pump. Thanks, Jason. I was glad the hat was off. Now, I needed to find out what Grandpa's plan was. And I wasn't at all surprised to see that he was on his way to the garden. Do a dance, maid. Before long, Tiffany was acting being a fairy princess. And a very bossy one, too. Now curtsy. And Grandpa was hiding behind a flower pot, making something out of bits of felt that he'd found on the table. Now sing a song. Even if sisters are annoying sometimes, you want to stick up for them when they need you. Psst. I'm nearly ready. Now we have to get Jemima right out of the way. And here's what you've got to do next. La, la, do you know la, any with words? La, um. Oh, she's hopeless maid, Damien. Jason! Oh, yes. Now fan me. I'm hot and I want to go to sleep. And Jemima fanned and fanned and fanned until at last Tiffany fell asleep. I can help. Just do exactly what I tell you to do, when I tell you to do it. You've stopped fanning me! Oh, she's a hopeless maid. I'm surprised you didn't just turn her into a mouse. That's a brilliant idea, Damien. Jason! And this is a brilliant wand. All you have to do is wave it, close your eyes, turn around three times and count to ten. OK, here goes. One, two... I still didn't know what Grandpa's big plan was, but I was about to find out. Oh, yes. This time Grandpa had gone too far. Ricky! Ricky! Ah! Oh, no! Jemima, what have I done? <sighs> Tiffany Jane Grottington Pump really thought that she turned my sister into a mouse. I told you it was a good wand. This is awful. I didn't mean to. Come here. Do as I say. <laughs> Please stop! Just because I'm a mouse, there's no need to boss me about. You've been bossing me about all day. I'm really sorry, Jemima. Really, really sorry. I was only acting. You have to have everything your own way, don't you? Well, that's not the sort of person I want to play with. I know. I'm really, really sorry. What can I do now? Well, you can turn me back into me again for a start. Close your eyes. 
Wave your wand and count to ten very slowly. While Grandpa hid behind his flower pot to get changed, One, I ran inside to tell Jemima she could come out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're back! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to turn you into a mouse. A mouse? See, it's that amazing imagination of hers. What do you want to play? I'll play anything you like. Do you want to be the fairy princess? I looked for Grandpa and he came out from behind the flower pot. He was back in his usual clothes. Cap off Grandpa quick! And Grandpa whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Well, Jason, I don't think Tiffany Jane Rottington Pump will boss Jemima around anymore, do you? No, Grandpa. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. <laughs> Later, we were all really tired. Oh, I'm so glad she's gone. Thanks for sticking up for me, Jason. How did you persuade her that she'd turn me into a mouse? Oh, with Grandpa's help. Grandpa? But Grandpa was lying down the whole time. He didn't do anything. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, did you have a nice rest, Grandpa? Oh, yes. Here. Try this on. <laughs> <laughs> now perhaps you can get rid of that old cap of yours. 